The next category is the published, unpublished, non-comic cover, pinups, illustrations, and gaming art. So my first vote went with this Lady with Dragon Tattoo by Ozuma Kaname in the collection of Oliver. The dragon on this back piece is just so well done, I just had to give it a vote. That's just a great piece. My next vote went with this Magic the Gathering 6 cover by Eric M. Gist in the collection of Tatiana TD Art Dykes Gallery. This was the top pick from the moment it was posted. The angled horizon, the pose, and the wisps of smoke give this piece a continuing sense of motion. And the smoke is great. You gotta love the little skulls in there. And the fact that the character's head is partly made out of that same smoke. This is just a great piece and I'm sure it looks fantastic on the wall. My next vote is for this The Conditioned Captain by Virgil Finlay in the collection of Doug Ellis. 69 years old. 69 dudes! And this piece still stands up. This is a masterpiece in every sense of the word. The inking is just incredible. You really need to get over to CAF and check out the large scan of this. It is absolutely timeless and will be just as stunning in another hundred years. My next vote goes with this August 1956 by George Petty in the collection of Scott Green. Another piece that is 60 plus years old and is soon, and as you can see with my vote, beats out a lot of the newer pieces. And although it's not an unfinished piece, her outfit is so light it almost falls into that niche that I like so much. And my last vote in this category is this Eagle Strip number one cover by Dan Lish in the collection of George H. Another fun music related piece. This is a cover to a book that really makes me want to check out what is inside. So I've now got one on order. And remember, Cause the D is for dangerous. You could come and get some of this. I teach.